Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Electronics with Professor Mughal. I received a message from John. Hello sir, I need your help. Can you show me how to make A bar B plus A B bar logic on breadboard or Tinkercad, please? Absolutely, why not? Okay, so I just want to have a quick review of the exclusive OR gate. Now, I asked uh, John whether he wants to do it with exclusive OR gate, which is basically just this, and you, we can get an IC and plug in the inputs and get the outputs, but he actually wanted to implement this expression for the exclusive OR gate, which is basically AB bar plus A bar B, and he wanted to implement that using N gate, OR gates, and the inverter. So those of you who don't have the basic of the logic gates, all these dot operators as you see between A dot and B bar, these dot basically represents the end gate and this plus represents an OR gate whereas these bars on B and A right here these represent inverter so technically we would in order to create this expression using the logic ICs we would need two end gates one OR gates and two inverters correct and again if you look at the truth table right here for input A and B where output is the A exclusive ORing with B the logic symbol is right here. The property of exclusive OR gate is when the number of ones are odd, the output is going to be high. So if you look at zero, zero is gonna give you zero. There's no input high. Zero, one here, because the number of inputs are which are high uh, or one is odd, output is going to be high. Similarly, the next combination is one, zero. And for some reason, it's not giving the other combination, but if you look at one, uh, can I get this? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me, oh, here it is. If you look at the this one right here, when it's one, one, the number of ones are even. There are two inputs that are high, so the output is gonna be zero. So the only time it gives you output high is when number of inputs are, uh, the number of ones in input are odd okay and then if you drive an expression using the, this truth table right here it will come down to a bar b plus a bar a bar b plus a b bar there's an error this should be a b bar okay let's go and get started now just for the sake of time i what i did already i just pulled all the component that i needed and it's pretty easy over here this is my NOT gate right here 7404 7408 is the end gate and 7432 is the OR gate. Just go in and type whatever the IC number is. Just drag to the workspace and click and that's pretty much it. I also would need a power supply. These need to give in at least 5 volts. And also I'm going to use switches as my input A and input B. Uh, I wanna also want to take you to the pin configuration of these um, logic gates. So we're going to use... 7408 which is right here 7408 we need uh, two end gates so we're probably going to use one two as an input and third as an output these are the pins right here the bottom one to seven and then eight to fourteen this logic ic has four end gates we will only be using two of them correct so i'm going to use one or two uh this one right here and this one right here, which is four or five inputs, and pin number six is the output. Notice seven is ground, and VCC is 14, which is gonna be five volts. I'm also gonna need 7432, which is OR gate, and again, pin number one and two, uh, I'm actually, actually gonna need just one OR gate, so I'm gonna use this one right here at the bottom left, pin number one and two as inputs, and pin number three as an output. I also would need an inverter, which is right here, 7404. Pin number, and I'm going to need two of those, so I'm going to use the first two inverters at the bottom left, pin number one being input, pin number two being output, and similarly, pin number three is going to be input for this inverter, pin number four being output. One thing common between all these three logic ICs that we're going to use is pin number seven is ground, and pin number 14 is VCC. So let's keep that in mind and try to build this circuit right here. And then I'm going to start with the easy part where pin number 7 is just going to be simply ground for all. And I'm going to make all the black grounds black. 
uh, this is gonna be black here as well right here connected to the negative rail here uh, notice I don't have the ground connected right now which I'm gonna do now so let's do that and also what I did I shorted the two rails so I got ground running on both the power rails here as well as here similarly I actually shorted the positive rail from here to here so I got positive running well not really because I need to connect this to now I got the two positive uh, connected and I'm gonna have say 5 volt going in it's already set to 5 volts I'm gonna change the color of this wire to red since it's the positive terminal of the power supply right now let's work on the uh, VCC so pin number 14 which is right here is connected to be the ground this one as well uh, right here and also this one as well I'm also now going to work on my two inputs right so the way it's gonna work is I am going to connect this right here to 5 volts and also connect this pin right here to 5 volts and I'm gonna run my input A and B from the common which is the middle pin right here right notice here this switch has three terminal terminal 1 terminal 2 and the middle one being ground right if you want your switch to work such that right now it is zero which is basically off but if it moves to the other side if this thing moved to the other side which is not gonna do because I'm not running simulation maybe I can do it for a little bit uh, if if you want this to be on similarly this to be on then you have to connect the wire such that positive is going through terminal 2 and A and B comes out of this middle terminal okay so that's how I want switch to work this is right now on and if I flip it to the left the lever uh, to the left then it works as an off correct so what what do you want to work with well I'm gonna work on a uh, firstly the two inverters B bar and A bar so let's say this is my input A I'm just gonna simply run it to pin number one and also get just gonna run this one uh, to pin number three because pin number one is the input to the inverter one and pin number two is the output whereas uh, pin number three is gonna be B and then pin number four is gonna be B bar which is the output of the inverter I'm also what I'm gonna do is gonna do color coding say input all the input A's are going to be green and all the input B's are going to be say turquoise okay now um, so let's try to get the two well I've got, already got the two inputs going in here now let's work on this expression first a B bar a B bar notice this is the end gate right here and pin number one and pin number two are the two inputs so I'm just gonna connect um, simply a uh, I'm gonna use from here to over here and then I'm gonna work on B bar B bar is actually right here so this goes over here uh, notice I'm gonna change the color to green because this is a and this is B bar so let's say let's give it a different color um, and then the output here is going to be connected to pin number one of the OR gate right this a B bar is gonna make is gonna make an OR gate with a bar B so I've taken care of a B bar now I'm gonna work on a bar B right so let's get um, a bar which is gonna be this and I'm gonna connect this over here so this is a bar I'm gonna change the color to say yellow and I'm gonna need B now B is just simply coming off from here and connect it to this pin number uh, basically it's pin number 5 which is the input to B and I'm gonna change the color of this wire to turquoise because all the turquoise are my input B and all the green are my input A so now that I've taken care of these two expression these two uh, actually these two terms in the expression now these two terms will make an OR so I've already got a B bar here which is this maybe I can change the color here as well maybe make it orange and then a bar B a bar B is actually this right here 
and I'm going to connect it to pin number two. Why pin number two? Because pin number one and pin number two are the two inputs to the OR gate. Now my output will be driven from pin number three. I connect this to the cathode terminal, actually not cathode, the anode terminal, and I'm going to run the cathode through a one kilo ohm resistor. Again, it's pretty easy. You just need to drag resistor and then you know pull it over here I already got one if you click on it you should be able to change the value over here I just I'm just gonna go with one kilo ohm which should work and I think I'm pretty much done all I need to do now is to run simulation and hopefully this works now because I need to actually go over here I'm gonna try all these combinations that we were discussing so zero zero 0 0 a 0 b 0 is going to give us 0 so if I go over here I got 0 0 the input the output is actually 0 right the LED is not lighting up if you look at the next two combination when a is 0 b is 1 or a is 1 b is 0 and on both combination output is going to be 1 so if I take make the input be high LED goes high right if I Put, switch it back to zero and then change this to one now a is one b is zero led turns on number of one is odd and led is on if i make both switches high that means number of ones are even now in that case led is not going to light up because the output logic at pin number three is just simply zero right you can also test it using a multimeter all you need to do is drag a multimeter connect the positive terminal to pin number three which is the output pin and connect the positive negative terminal to the ground I'm gonna make this black and I'm gonna make the positive terminal the multimeter red and if I do the simulation back again notice all both the inputs being high output is zero volt LEDs is not light up but if I change it to say zero here then notice led lights up i get 4.87 volt this voltage should be comparatively very similar to this what we should we should have over here which is 5 volt i hope john you enjoyed this video and i hope you can learn from it till then next time uh you know i'll see you guys later enjoy your rest of the day and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and before I go, I want to give a big shout out to all the patrons who have supported me. Thank you for watching. Bye.